go. Make his back again. Right, so we're uh, wait. We've got the passengers loaded. It's time to get moving. RIP headphone users. loud, isn't it? Kill off my boiler pressure a bit, that way it'll uh, calm down. Good luck with your exam, Tiny Golf. YOS 2 is next. that boiler pressure down a bit, just keep it under control. Just under a 1% grade now, we're heading to Big the East Approach.
yellow signal. Taking a slow run through and make a brief stop at Yilby Yard so passengers can see the facilities. Be sure you switch to the jet directly for Ridley Track 1. that question. Bye Genesis man. Sorry I haven't been watching the chat. Stopping just here once we get everything in the siding. Away from that noise for a minute. Dolly Seawall, if the names didn't flash on the screen, you wouldn't get trolled. Yeah, we would. I'd just find a different way of doing it. People like saying the genuine, well, look, most of them, to be honest, don't get trolled that much, and it's not actually that many. And uh, are those the genuine users do appreciate it, so. Okay, you're clear to proceed south. Continue to operate at no more than 15 miles per hour until you reach the south end of the yard. Gonna let it get a bit away from us. I'm trying to let this boiler pressure go down. Alright, we clear all the way out. 
Big West Approach is our next waypoint, which is that one. APW Drop Point. And we're going to the Crab Stop. I like this loco as well, Railhead. Just want this boiler pressure to go down. I've <laughs> shut the dampers and the blowers, and it's just. I can't waste boiler pressure hard, fast enough. I said 25 was my, my limit, so I'm sorry, 15 was my limit, so I'm continuing to run at 15. Stephen Jam, yes, this is the last scenario. I'm running it with the wrong cutoff to kill off some boiler pressure. Dropping our passengers off at the Crab Shack at Fine Pine Point for lunch. After dropping them off, we'll make a photo run by. Make your stop to unload the passengers at milepost 205. Uh, never trust in. Um, there is a video called um, The Lab Experiments, the controller, um, and that was sort of a first look at it when I first um, started using it on the stream. 
Uh, so if you go and find that, that's on my YouTube page. Um, that'll give you a good idea. If you've got any other questions, feel free to ask them. Two point seven miles to the crab shack. Ah, oh, nice one, Stephen. Thank you. Any fails tonight? Uh, a couple of fails on the uh, German one. Yeah, I definitely recommend Portland Terminal, it's a very good route. Some really nice scenarios for it on Steam Workshop as well. Buy this route and run the GG1 on it. You're going to have to push it then as a dead loco because it's electric loco. And this is definitely not an electric route. <laughs> nice, Victor. <laughs> Oh, we're coming up to the uh, stop for crabs. Talking about careers for on workshop and versus normal. I, I must admit, overall, I prefer a career scenario, whether it gives me XP or not. Because uh, the nice thing I like about the career scenarios is that you get the um, the pressure to drive harder, um, to push, put more, push it more. Whereas in the standard scenario, 
Um, and is it timetabled? Hey, Dr. Power, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Yeah, unless the scenario is timetabled, it's, um... You just kind of take it as slow as you want. And if it's timetabled, the thing I don't like about that is that you can, uh, you fail the entire scenario if you're one, 61 seconds late for one stop. Which seems a bit extreme to me, but... Um... Whereas for the career scenario, um, you just get a lower score if you're a bit late. And you might get a minor score, but you're still not going to fail the scenario. Oh, look at this. Well, people watching it. I'm supposed to be stopping here. We never birthed it. Oh, no, we never birthed it. I never birthed it. <laughs> waffle, waffle, waffle. Yeah, we never worth it. Never mind. Now we've got to go back to run by, run by stop. Yeah, P. Schlick, you fail the entire scenario if you're late 61 seconds on a timetabled um, standard scenario. I'm waffling and I'm not paying attention. <laughs> no offence, but you're a programmer, change it. Uh, it's a little bit more to it than that. It's, it's really not up to me. We'll stop here for a moment and let everyone get off for their crabs and then we'll head back to the uh, run by stop point. Right, now we'll get going. <laughs> of course, Phil did a, no a net worth on his own scenario earlier on, which I thought was hilarious. So easily done, though, if you're not paying attention. <laughs> so we're reversing back up to this run by stop point. No, we're going the right way. We've got to reverse back up to this run by, uh, run by stop point up here. And then what we do is have all the people that are sitting there having their crabs now here, we just go flying past them and they get a nice shot of the steam train blasting past. Welcome to the stream and kickback man. Halfway there. 
All right, Phil, thanks for joining us, and thanks for that scenario. That was excellent. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Do I know what's on the official stream tomorrow? Yes, the Weirdale and Teesdale Railway route. Really looking forward to it, it should be really good. Hey there, Kickback Man 1277, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. train, I need you to stop. Right. Hey, is that cam track? Yes, well, Gouger, when you see it tomorrow, you'll see what it's, uh, it's something else. It really is. Excellent. Now put on a good run-by show, but you'll need to stop at South End. As you approach South End, be sure the switch is aligned for the main line. Which, of course, it isn't. I am very good, thank you, Zach Amtrak. Go and watch the crowd, shall we? Get the speed built up. Okay, Zach, thank you. Hopefully we'll see the train come through momentarily. Pretty much have to put the brakes on fairly well afterwards though. There we are. So we're here. As soon as I go past I'm going to have to slam the brakes on.
Your OBS will never connect. Try switching to a different um, ingester server on Twitch and make sure that the um, code is correct, the stream key. Repaste it in and make sure that it doesn't have a space at the end of it or anything. Right, I can see the train. It's coming along. I'm not going to get much faster than this, I don't think. We're all sitting here waiting for a train to go by. I oh, appreciate that, Zach. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Here we go. Alright, we're coming to a stop now at South End. Brakes work better than I thought they would. <laughs> Cheers, Zach. Thanks for popping by. we go. Well done. The pair of Pan Am units in the siding will be used to pull us back to Portland. For the moment, we'll park the train here and have some crab ourselves. Scenario complete. So that one was a uh, 280 main excursion by uh, El Faber. Again, you can get that on Steam Workshop. Hey there, General Melchet. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Right. What time is it now, anyway? One o'clock. Oh, that's not too bad. Time for bed. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> That is quite a nice scenario, that one, isn't it? It's uh, it's neat, even with the uh, the obligatory uh, Nebworth. <laughs> oh dear! All right, well, thanks again, everybody. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow, five o'clock at the uh, Dovetail Channel, and then at uh, around nine thirty on the official channel. Um, yes, sure. Go ahead, Dave. Um, right, um, thanks for joining everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow again, 5 o'clock, Dovetail Channel, 9.30, Train Sim Live as normal, both UK times. Brilliant. Alright, thanks everybody. Cheers. Bye-bye.